mocha friends so for today's video i'll be doing a natural hair care routine on my three-year-old's daughter's hair and if you are familiar with any of my videos you have seen me do a natural hair care routine on Ziri's hair but if you're new to my channel i will take you back how far Ziri's hair has grown which is very amazing so in 2019 here Ziri was eight months old and she experienced what a lot of babies go through with their hair at this age she had dryness she had patches the cradle cap so i tried to really work with her hair so in 2020 her hair grown out however it was still experiencing dryness so i do like to go through trial and errors with her hair so in 2021 as you can see her hair fully grown out and she experienced shrinkage here which is normal so fast forward to 2022 ziri's hair has grown tremendously as you can see here and I love how full her hair is. It's just she still experienced dryness, but I think it's just she has high porosity hair, which soaks up a lot of moisture. But stay tuned for Zuri's natural hair care routine and you will see the process. As you can see here, I do have the aloe vera plants here. And if you're new to my channel, I do have other videos of me going through the whole process on how to cut the plant and how to retrieve the gel from the plant. So it's a whole video on that. So this video, I'm not really going to go through the whole process. I just want to show that I do still use the aloe vera gel on Zuri's hair as a leave-in conditioner. So before I get started with washing Zuri's hair, I do like to go through a detangling and section process with her hair as I do mine. And plus her hair is thicker than mine, so I do like to detangle it and also apply the shampoo as I'm detangling. So throughout most of the video, you'll see me putting her hair into sections, applying the product that I'm using so that it's easier to work with her hair since her hair is thicker. So the shampoo I'm using on Zuri's hair is from the product line Fro Babies. And I've seen this product go around. I've seen a lot of mothers use this on their um, children's hair. However, I do not care for this for Zuri's hair. Once I washed it out of her hair, I noticed her hair was really dry compared to other products I have used on her hair. And as I mentioned, it's a trial and error with me. Um, but I know that you're probably wondering, like, why are you applying the shampoo now instead of a detangler? I like to apply the shampoo as I detangle her hair. I notice when it's time to wash out or I lay her back to wash her hair, it's easier for the product to just wash out of her hair easy versus of me detangling and then putting the shampoo. I, like I said, trial and error with her hair, so I kind of know what works for us and less trauma on her head and where she's not crying as much. Okay guys, so I purchased a Shampoo Buddy portable hair wash basin from Amazon for about $44. And if you're interested, I will leave the link in the description below so you can check it out. But I love this. It was the best purchase from Amazon. What it does is help to elevate Zuri's head when I'm washing her hair instead of her being flat on her back, which she just was so irritated with that. So this helps to help me with a better wash day for her <laughs> so it just works out for the both of us as you can see here in the clip her head is elevated i'm able to wash her hair and she's not crying as much she will because she doesn't like me in her head but it just helps with a smoother wash day
as you can see here, Zuri's, I, well, you saw that I washed her hair and her hair sucks up a lot of moisture, water. So she has high porosity hair. So as you can see, and I'm about to put in this leave-in. Well, it's more so like a deep conditioner that you wash out too. And it's from Aunt Jackie's Kids Super Defining Softening Conditioner. So going in with that. So I just finished applying all of that deep conditioner in her hair. So I'm going to leave that in for about 20 minutes, probably 15, because she's already kind of getting annoyed with me doing her hair. So it might be 15 minutes. So I'm just going to kind of clean up everything that I did with aloe vera. And then after this, I'm going to wash it out. Now that Zuri's hair is fully washed, I can start applying the aloe vera gel to her hair. And as you can see, the bottle that I'm using, I find it to be easier for the gel to flow through that tube. And I can just put it throughout her scalp that way. And I just find it easier. Also, the gel works perfectly because Zuri's hair is a little um, dry and it's tangled. So the gel also works as a detangler. So as you can see, I'm just kind of sliding through her hair with my fingers first before a comb, just so that each strand can get the moisture of the aloe vera gel.
Say thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. This is Zuri's natural hair care routine, wash day routine. It's a long process. <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Leave me any comments if you have any recommendations of what I could do with her hair going forward. But this is what I do so far.